JavaScript is extremely popular in the e-commerce world because it helps create a seamless and user-friendly experience for shoppers. Take, for instance, loading items on category pages or dynamically updating products on the site using JS. But it can harm your SEO. Hi, I'm Julian Estrad, CEO of Jeroctopus, and I will share how to manage your JS not to harm your SEO. While this is great news for e-commerce sites, JavaScript poses several challenges for SEO. Google is consistently working on improving its search engine, and a big part of its effort is dedicated to making sure its crawlers can access JavaScript content. But ensuring that Google seamlessly crawls JS sites isn't easy. In this video, I will share everything you need to know about JS SEO and how you can improve your organic performance. How do search bots process JS? Google processes JS in three stages. Crawling, rendering, indexing. Google's bot put the pages in the queue for crawling and rendering. During this phase, the bots scan the pages to access new content. Go to the inspection element on your page and search for some of the content. If you cannot find it there, search engines will have trouble accessing it. What are the widespread JS SEO problems? Most JS websites has crawlability issues. For instance, JS content limits a bot's ability to navigate pages. This affects its indexability. Or another case, bots cannot figure out the context of the content on a JS page, thus limiting their ability to rank the page for a specific keywords. Such issues make it tough for e-commerce marketers to determine the rendering status of their web pages. In such cases, using an advanced crawler and log analyzer, for example, like Jeroctopus, will definitely help. Let's start your journey with JS Check. First, check if your JavaScript has SEO issues using URL inspection at Google Search Console. We have a lot of tools dedicated to JS SEO performance check, but I would like to start here. You can view your URL as Google Bot user agent and you will be able to check how content looks without JS rendering. Check if all the content is available. Another option to view this URL as Google Bot user agent with JS. And has anything changed? Maybe there is something extra or some content can disappear. Another very useful option, compare your JS to non-JS. Here you have an opportunity to compare both versions profoundly. What are the differences and understand if all is off. And here we see JS files are blocked. Are you sure you really want it? You'd better check. Let's jump into JS performance section. Here we have the load time section where you will get the profound details on your first paint, first contentful paint, page loaded, all requests completed and you will see the average load time distribution. Then you will also get the information on browser performance events, and this is more for your developers. And we also have the section with JS performance errors. And here we have JS resources errors, so the URLs which have the exact type of the problem and all the pages with this particular problem. You can reach them just right from here. And JS console errors. In this case, no JS console errors. You can love JS or hate JS, but JavaScript is with us for long. It will not disappear. So you'd better learn how to manage JS SEO. The sooner, the better. And we at Jaroctopus will do our best to help you with it. Don't forget to use your seven days free trial. No credit card is needed.